Welcome to the Apple Review with your host, Johnny Applelad. Uh, I'm happy to have with us today uh, our guest and my wife, uh, Maddie McIntosh. How are you today? Absolutely fantastic. You mean absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Anywho, uh, today we will be reviewing the Opal Apple, which is an interesting apple. Uh, it was... It was developed at the Institute of Experimental Botany uh, in Prague, and uh, to this day is grown at a uh, fruit select family grown farm in uh, Washington. But that's not what attracted my wife to them. She was just excited because they were yellow. <laughs> it's a great color. If you don't like yellow, you're wrong. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> uh, anywho, uh, we will do, like any other video, uh, the whole entire process of eating a red apple, uh, specifically red a red delicious, delicious apple, uh, which I personally don't enjoy. What's your opinions on that? I mean, I eat them enough that they're okay, but like... If given the choice, I'd choose other apples. Yeah. Yeah. I understand that. Would you say your uh, your favorite apple is a Macintosh apple? Anywho, uh, without further ado. Further ado. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is nasty. This one tastes really bad. I don't know why, but this one tastes really bad. I want to play softball with an apple. <laughs> I know it explode when you hit it with a bat, but like... That's how applesauce was invented. <laughs> I don't know that, that to be a fact, but it sounds good. It is now, it? and you heard it here first. You heard it here first, folks. Now for a good apple. I've never had one before. We don't even know if it's good, good yet. Nope. Okay. They're pretty. This is an A plus apple. It tastes like soft sunshine and daffodils. Don't give me that look. Are you high or just stupid? Well, the neighbors are smoking weed. <laughs> That's not a lie. Anyway, uh... <clears throat> yeah, I forgot to mention that this particular apple is actually a cross between a Golden Delicious apple and a topaz apple. I've I actually never heard of a topaz apple, but uh... Heard of it, never had it. Hmm. What have you heard about it? Just that it's an apple. I mean, people don't usually go, Did you know this apple was made here? Shut here up. Here are their origins. Shut up. And this is how it tastes. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I wish people, more people would though, because then I'd be, you know, Woo! A new apple and not just... Cool. You'd be more educated on apples. Maybe I should start majoring in apples. You are a major apple. Anyway. Oh? So, I'm curious to hear an amateur's opinion. Oh, an amateur? An amateur. You're an apple amateur. You don't eat apples as much as I do. Amateur. You only eat them not as m You eat... <laughs> okay. Okay. I Anyways, eat apples what's a lot. your opinion? I really like it. Like I said, it's soft sunshine and daffodils. It's like A plus on texture. Actually, I really like it because it's soft, but it's still crisp. And. No, what's your opinion on a 1 to 10 scale? That's the format here. And you have to write texture and flavor. 8.5 on texture, 9 on flavor. Okay. Very decisive. I really like this a lot more than Jazz and Gala and 
Pink Lady and Red Delicious, which are the four main ones I have. So. Hmm. All right. Now give me your opinion, a wise one. Well, first off, you can really taste the Golden Delicious in here. Uh, it's like you take a Golden Delicious or maybe a Granny Smith, but it's sweeter. And has like more of a texture of a honey crisp. So what you're saying is it's freaking delicious. It is pretty good. And I'd like to go back on what I said. Maybe not exactly a honey crisp. It's like the texture of a honey crisp mixed with a texture of a red delicious. It's not as crispy as the honey delicious, but it's not as mushy as uh, as the uh, red delicious. Yeah. When you put them in the fridge, they get mushier. Yeah, but I've had red delicious that haven't been in the fridge. Well, I know. I'm just saying this one was in the fridge. If you were comparing it to this one specifically. All right, so texture, I'd give 7.75 to maybe an eight out of 10. Flavor, it's I a good got flavor. I just a super sweet bite and it was so good. I wanna make a pie with these. I don't think the shape would keep well when baking. So this probably isn't exactly an ice. Shape would keep well? What do you mean? Of the pie or of the apple? Of the apple. It's That's why green apples are usually used more than red apples. Oh, uh, that's a lie. Typically when making pie, red apples are used, especially when it's, you know, country or apple crisp kind of deal and 90% of the time. Now, yes, they do use green, and green is more commonly used for baking than it is for eating, but like, let me tell you a thing about baking. Let me tell you a thing about apples. My question is, what do you mean it wouldn't hold? Do you th I'm not putting a whole friggin' apple in there, it's slices. What about the slices won't hold? They're not the crust, so they don't have to go... You know what? I'll look it up. You know when you were younger and you thought if you ate seeds that, you know, the plants would grow inside you? Yeah. I thought the same thing about apple seeds, but everybody kept telling me not to eat apple seeds. And I didn't know why until, you know, I found out, like, the whole cyanide thing. But, like, that didn't stop me from eating a few now and then. The cyanide thing made me eat more. Right? Well, I didn't know it was cyanide at first. I just, they were like, they're, they're poisonous. I was like, oh, yeah, right. And so are apples themselves. And ate it. Hmm. They make excellent additions to salads. Texture holds up well in pies and tarts and is a nice addition to cakes and muffins. Oh! Who wins now? Mm -hmm. Let it sink in. Die. Don't actually die, though. Go eat an apple seed. Anyway. Done. <laughs> back to the rating. Texture. 7.75 8 out of 10 flavor mm, I'd say about a level 8 out of 10 okay okay is that the highest you've rated an apple I really can't remember I think it might be well, 
I know one of them had a similar score. I think it's right up there with Honeycrisp. Okay. And That's what I was thinking of. Fuji. The Fuji was a pleasant surprise. I didn't think it was going to be so good. I really like this apple. We should go get more. Not right now. These same things are expensive. Where some Market? apples, where Honeycrisp are one of the most expensive apples that are reg regularly available. They are uh, uh, they are one dollar and seventy six cents. Uh, I think a pound. Yeah, one dollar and seventy six cents a pound. Well, opal apples are like two dollars and sixty six cents a pound. Oh. Well, that's because they taste better. I won't deny it. Yeah. Although, yeah, I don't think it necessarily tastes better. No, it tastes better. I just think it has a different, more unique taste. The better, more unique taste. That's what I'm hearing. You're stupid. Anyways. Um, thanks for coming to the Apple Review. Uh, don't worry, next time she won't be here. <laughs> She'll join us for the Macintosh Apple review. Oh, yes, It I is will. her Apple, after all. I invented it. What? No. The guy with the computer invented it. Anyways. Thank you for coming to the Apple review. Uh, join us next time. Uh, if you liked what you saw today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And put on the comments below what apple you'd like for us to uh, review next. Yeah. And I'll leave you with a have a great day and come back for another apple review.